Hello everyone and happy fall. I hope you guys are enjoying this amazing weather. So today I'm coming with a what I eat in a day video. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, look at me feeling myself. So before the gym, I went ahead and had my detox water. I have this water every single morning as I mentioned in a previous video. It is just warm water, lemon, vinegar, and cayenne pepper. After the gym, I went ahead and did myself a post-workout smoothie. And in this smoothie, I had some frozen strawberries, bananas, wild blueberries, flax seeds, hemp seeds, and a bit of organic wheatgrass. I know wheatgrass sounds like it tastes disgusting. Guys, it does taste disgusting. But with this particular smoothie, I've noticed that banana specifically masks the taste of it. You can't even taste it. And trust me, guys, you do want this in your smoothie. The benefits are absolutely amazing. For lunch, I went ahead and heated up some lentil soup that I made the day before. If you guys are interested in knowing the recipe, please let me know. I'll gladly make a recipe video. So after lunch, I had a bit of a spare time. I noticed that one of my watermelon were about to go bad. So I decided to make the kids some watermelon ice cream. This recipe is extremely simple. It's just some watermelon and just a bit of maple syrup. And it tastes delicious. And like always, I made a mess. Guys, if you guys have a trick, please let me know because I am forever making a huge mess in my kitchen. For a snack afterwards, I decided to have some cherry tomatoes. I don't know. I just love tomatoes. I eat them all the time. dinner time i don't know about you but for me dinner is usually the hardest meal of the day i never know what to cook for dinner for this particular day i decided to make some salt and vinegar potatoes i know it sounds weird guys but if you guys are a fan of salt and vinegar potato chips you guys are going to love this recipe because it tastes amazing Super simple guys, you just put the potatoes to boil with some distilled vinegar and some water. Afterwards, you go ahead and put the potato chips in the oven with some salt and pepper and you're done. Nice and simple. And obviously, guys, we do not want our potatoes to stick to the pan, so I was just spraying some olive oil. And as I mentioned before, some salt and pepper before putting it in the oven. Now that fall is here, I hardly have anything left in my garden, so I decided to take the last bit of kale that I had left for dinner. And just like that, dinner is served, guys. Nice and simple. So I served my potatoes with the kale that I got from my garden and some moro de guandule. If you guys want the recipe for that, please do let me know. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs>